Okay, welcome back everybody. In this video tutorial, we are going to be taking a look on how to uh, take that turntable animation that we just created uh, with Autodesk Inventor and um, then uh, how to basically place that into a PowerPoint. So we're going to be using Microsoft PowerPoint to create a template. We're going to be uh, taking that movie, placing it three times within that template, and we're going to have them simultaneously start. And uh, we're going to be actually uh, exporting that out as a, uh, as a movie. Uh, just before we go any further, just keep in mind that these file sizes have to be somewhat smaller. So um, I'm hoping that you're using an XVID codec to get that high quality movie that we were looking for, but also keeping that file size uh, smaller. I have learned that if you're trying to do this with the uncompressed AVI files uh, directly out of Inventor, is that this process will fail. So there's a big reason why I showed that. All right, so I never did actually show you uh, kind of what the finished product would look like with the, um, the turntable, uh, but this is it. It's a different object, uh, but this is basically what you're going to be seeing when you get your render um, from Inventor. So just gives you an idea. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click. Okay, and now we're going to be jumping over uh, and opening up PowerPoint. So when uh, PowerPoint actually opens, which you, the first thing you're going to have to do is come out here and delete any of the text boxes or anything that provides to you by default. The next thing you're going to have to do is come over here and go to Design, and you need to come in here and pick on Slide Size. We're going to go ahead and pick on Custom Slide Size. Okay, and now we need some information. We need to know what the actual footprint of our uh, our pyramid is going to be. So. Uh, right now it's 13.3 by 7.5. That's obviously way too big. So we're going to jump over into Inventor and we're going to be taking a look here. We're going to get some information from Inventor. So we're going to go ahead and get a dimension of the actual um, uh, base of this, which would be 3.8855. And now we're actually going to come out here and grab this dimension and pull that out. All right, and we can see that that is 2.6875. The third dimension you are going to need is going to be this one right here. We'll pull that out. We'll see it's uh, very close to 0.79. All right, and those are the three dimensions that we are going to need. All right, so we're going to be jumping back over here. Let's just start with the, third, uh, the first one, 3.8855. Go over here into this, and we're going to go ahead and plug that in for our actual width. Okay, jumping back over into Inventor, the other one was 2.6875. And now we're going to go ahead and say OK. I'm going to go ahead and just pick on Ensure Fit. OK. And now I'm going to come up here and go to Insert. I'm going to be inserting a line. And I'm going to be starting that line. Uh, it's going to be at the zero mark here at the very top. So I'm going to just drag that up and just get that place pretty close to where that zero inch is. OK. And now what we have to know is um, basically how far to bring it. And if you remember, uh, Back here in Inventor, this total uh, height here was about 0.8. So now I'd be jumping over to PowerPoint. And I can see that each one of these is worth about an eighth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, this would be about one inch right here. All right, so if that is one inch, okay, we can see it is going to be approximately, you know, we'll just call it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so that is going to be the top or the peak of my pyramid. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to copy this line two more times. Okay, I'm going to start this line starting here at this point. And I'm going to take this all the way down to this corner here. Same thing here, taking this point to that intersection and then taking this all the way down okay, to that point right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be making sure that all these are black color. just like so, and I'm going to go ahead and keep the background white for right now. All right. So now once we have that done, I can come out here, go to insert. I can go to video. I'm going to go out to where these are placed in here, and I'm going to use the one I was just showing you, which was my miniature train, AVI. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. All right. So when it comes in, yes, you can come out here. You can shrink it. All right. What I'd also recommend that you do is to come out here and crop this. So I can come out here and crop this. I can pull this in, pull this in like so. Okay, go ahead and finish with the crop. And now I'm gonna just pick out of the movie, pick on the movie again, and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. 
Now, what I'm making sure that I am doing is, is I'm making sure that that, um, that object that is spinning is staying within that frame. You can see I can actually come out here and uh, crop this a little bit more. So if you come back, pick on crop again, you can see what you've previously cropped. You can pull this in a little bit closer. Okay, we can pull this down. Okay, and I can go ahead and pull this up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with the crop. Pick out of the movie, pick the movie again, and hit play. And I'm just wanting to verify that that object is staying within the actual frame. It's getting awfully close there on top. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, go back to crop. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to recrop that. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm one more time going to be testing this to make sure that that stays in there. Okay, and it looks like everything is good to go. Okay, so I can go ahead and pause that. Now at this point in time, this is where PowerPoint gets to be pretty nice to us. Okay, we start moving this around. We can actually see the guidelines telling us that that is in the center. But I'm going to go ahead and increase this. And I'm going to be dropping this down to the very bottom. Okay, and I'm going to be making sure that that corner is going right to that line. Okay, when I do that, okay, I can go ahead and pick on it, right click, do a copy. And I'm now going to be copying that two more times. Dragging this one up to here dragging this one up to here. I'm now going to go ahead and spin this to rotate it. I'll be making sure that the orientation of the train, the top of the train, is going towards the center of the hologram. And now I'm going to go ahead and just get that to line up. So I don't know if you could see that with the guides or not, but it was actually lining up over here as well as to the bottom of this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Taking this all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and now I have three videos that are in there. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is go out there and make sure that all three of these videos are going to be running at the same time. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to hold down shift, okay, and grab all three of those. I'm going to come up here to playback. I'm going to make sure that this starts automatically and this will loop until selected. Okay, and once that is done, I'm going to come over here to the animations tab pick on the animation pane, and there are three triggers here. I'm going to go ahead and just remove all three of those triggers. Here at the top, here are the three videos. I'm going to select all those, so I'm going to highlight all those. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to pick on start with previous. Now the best thing you can do at this point in time is go to slideshow, go from the current slide, and now we should be seeing all three of those videos are running at the same time. Okay, when you have verified that all three of those are running at the same time, okay, you're going to be coming back over here, go to the design tab, go to format background, and then just simply change the color of your background to black. Okay, and now if we look at this again, you're going to see that we have the black, black background that we are needing, okay, but we do have that high contrast of that video. Okay, and those are going to be placed in the correct uh, orientation when this projects it down to the hologram pyramid. So once you have that done, here's all you have to do. Come over here to File, go to uh, Export. You're going to want to create a video. You want the presentation quality um, you know, over the internet or the low quality. Just keep this at presentation quality. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't think this matters, but I always just say I know that that is a 10 second movie. I'm now going to go ahead and create the video. It's going to be asking me where I want to save that. Make sure it is an MP4 and go ahead and do a save. Okay, it will be creating that MP4 and you'll be seeing that process down here at the bottom. Okay, right below the PowerPoint. Slight pause. Okay, it looks like it has finished. All right, and so... Um, once uh, that is finished, we uh, basically have everything that we need. Um, and I can show you a preview here in just a second what that's going to look like. But the thing you have to remember is that this is a template. So what I would do if I were you, once we have that video, is go ahead and delete the videos out of here. Okay. And what I would do is go back to your design tab, go back to your format background, and switch this to a white background. So we always have that to start with. And now we can see our orientation or uh, guidelines for... Uh, uh, the actual panes. All right, so I go ahead and do a save on that. So what does this actually look like when we are done? It looks like, if I can find my mini train, this is what it's actually going to look like. So that is it. That is how you create 
the uh, the final piece of the hologram uh, pyramid movie. Uh, from that point, you could simply take that MP4 and you can go ahead and just upload that out there onto YouTube. If you have multiples of this, what I do is uh, grab a piece of um, you know software where you can chain a bunch of movies together. Um, personally, I use Wii Video and I just chained all those together, and um, it was able to spit out uh, an MP4 at the end, and I uploaded that to uh, to YouTube. So there you go. That is how you uh, you uh, finish that last part of uh, creating a um, hologram movie.